Hi guys, I have Ariana with me today and we will show you how to do a side flip spin your hand, side chop through braid with the little accent braids. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. To prep the hair, I began by brushing it out to make sure it's tangled free. Now spraying some water and I will use a few drops of argan oil, rub it between your palms and run it through hair concentrating on the roots. Now brush it out again and we are ready to start. I began by splitting the hair down the middle and finishing at the crown and taking another part line parallel to my middle part and about one and a half inches wide. For now, clip the section out of the way and tie the remaining hair into a low side ponytail. Now let out the hair from the hair clip, brush it out and split it in the middle. Clip one half out of the way for now. With the other half, split the hair into three equal strands and put your right strand over the middle left strand over the middle right strand over the middle and i'm gently tugging on that new stitch to give a braid a little bit more volume so with every new stitch that i make i'm going back and gently tugging at the edges of the braid so again right strand over the middle tug at the edge of the braid then left strand over the middle and tug at the edges of the braid you don't need to pancake the braid i only do it because i like the braid to look a little bit fuller Once your braid long enough to reach the bottom ponytail, don't secure it with elastic for now, just secure it with the hair clip. Get your second section out, brush it and split it to three equal strands and we are making the same braid as we did with the first section, gently pancaking it at the edges.
once you braid long enough to reach the bottom ponytail, let out the first braid out of the hair clip, combine the two and attach them to your ponytail with an elastic. Now using a tapsy tail tool, I will hide the hair elastic by taking a small strand of the hair from the ponytail and gently wrapping it around the ponytail and pulling it through the topsy tail tool. Now take a ponytail and split it to two equal sections so you end up with top ponytail and bottom ponytail. Take up the top ponytail, brush it out and tie an elastic. Now with that little bubble, split it in the middle and with your thumb and point finger, pull the bottom ponytail through. Now your bottom ponytail is on top, so pick up an elastic and tie it on your bottom ponytail. And the same as we did before, split that new bubble in the middle and with your thumb and your point finger, reach down, grab the top ponytail and pull it through. And to give my pull through braid a little bit of volume, I will gently tug at the edges. So once again, brush out the top ponytail and tie an elastic on it. Then with the new created bubble, split it in the middle and with your thumb and your point finger, reach down, grab the bottom ponytail and pull it through the bubble. And I'm gently tagging on the edges of the braid to give it volume. One more time, brush out the top ponytail and tie an elastic on it. With the newly created bubble, split it right down the middle and with your thumb and point finger, reach down and grab the bottom ponytail and pull it through the bubble. And I'm going back and gently tugging at the edges to match up the rest of my pull through braid. And I have enough length to create one last bubble, so I'm picking up an elastic, tying it around the ponytail, then splitting my new bubble straight down the middle and reaching out, out and pulling the bottom ponytail through. Once I pulled my bottom ponytail through, I'm just extending the elastic from the top ponytail and combining the two ponytails together. Now I'm gently pancaking my last section and going over the ponytail to make sure that I like the way it looks. I hope you like this tutorial. Please share, like and subscribe. Find us on Instagram at Brianna's Braids. We'll see you on our next tutorial.